Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn website and I am very excited to inform you that in Quick Learn I have recently launched my website that is www.quick-learn.in This website is especially for all the engineering and diploma students and those students who will preparing for competitive exams. So, in the blog section of the website, you can find the notes of all the electrical and electronic subjects just like basic electronics, microcontroller, microprocessor, power electronics and slowly slowly I will add more notes in the website. And if you are preparing for any government competitive exams, then check also my MCQ series that is multiple choice question series and previous year question papers that will help you in your competitive exams. Here I also upload the quiz test or mock test for ONGC, UPPCL or for different type of competitive exam previous year question papers. Or for latest update, please join my telegram channel. The link of my telegram channel I will give in my description box. So stay continue and keep watching and keep visiting my website. Hello friends, welcome to Quicklearn tutorial series. In this video, I will explain you what is Fermi level. This is lecture number 20 of basic electronic series. So let's start with the topic. What is Fermi level in semiconductor? So first I will give a definition of Fermi level. Fermi level is that energy level which has 50% probability of occupation of electron at absolute 0 degree temperature. Again I will repeat. Fermi level is the highest energy level which has 50% probability of occupation of electron at absolute 0 degree temperature. So to understand the concept of Fermi level here I will give a brief introduction of atomic structure. We know that every object in the universe is made up of atom and atom are made up of three small particles that is electron, proton and neutron. Electrons are negative charged particle whereas proton are positive charged particle and neutron have no charge. So these proton and neutron make a nucleus which is exist at the center of the atom and this negative charge electrons always revolve around the positive charge nucleus because of the electrostatic force of attraction between them. Electron revolving around the nucleus in different orbit. Each orbit have different energy level. For example, the electron orbit which is very close to the nucleus having low energy whereas the electron orbit far away from the nucleus having higher energy. So even having lower energy level and E3 having higher energy level. These electron in the lower energy level need some additional energy to jump into the higher energy level. So if we give external energy from the external energy source, these lower energy electron absorb energy and jump into the higher energy level. In this way, holes are generated in the lower energy level and the density of electron get increases in higher energy level. So this concept I will explain with the help of energy band diagram. Here we see this is the energy band diagram. This is the valence band and this is conduction band. Valence band is the lowest energy level where all the valence electron will exist. And conduction band is the highest energy level and the electron in conduction band is responsible for conduction. Now, the difference between the valence band and conduction band is called forbidden gap or forbidden energy gap. So Fermi level is an energy level which is exist between the valence band or conduction band. It has 50% probability of occupation of electron at absolute 0 degree temperature. So we can say that Fermi level is exist anywhere between the conduction band and valence band. It can be near the conduction band, it can be near the valence band or it is exist at the center of the conduction band or valence band. 
The other definition of Fermi level is Fermi level is the highest energy level that an electron can occupy at absolute zero degree temperature. As I have already told, Fermi level lies between the valence band and conduction band because at absolute zero degree temperature, the electrons are in the lowest energy state. So these are the definition of Fermi level. Now Fermi level in intrinsic semiconductor. We know that there are two type of semiconductor material: intrinsic semiconductor material or extrinsic semiconductor material. What is intrinsic semiconductor material? The pure semiconductor material is called intrinsic semiconductor material. Or in case of intrinsic semiconductor material, the number of electron in conduction band is equal to the number of hole in valence band. So here we see in the diagram, in case of intrinsic or pure semiconductor material, the number of electron in conduction band is equal to the number of holes in valence band. So we can say that the probability of electron in conduction band is equal to the probability of hole in valence band. Due to this relation, we can say that in intrinsic semiconductor or pure semiconductor, the the Fermi level is lie in the middle of the conduction or valence band. Next is Fermi level in extrinsic semiconductor. What is extrinsic semiconductor? The impure semiconductor material is called extrinsic semiconductor or when we mix some impurity in pure semiconductor material that is called extrinsic semiconductor material. So there are two types of extrinsic semiconductor material, N type semiconductor material or P type semiconductor material. But I am not going to the detail of N type or P type semiconductor and difference between both of them because I have already discussed N type or P type semiconductor material in my previous videos. So there are two types of material, N-type extrinsic semiconductor material and P-type extrinsic semiconductor material. Now Fermi level in N-type semiconductor material. To form N-type semiconductor material, we add a pentavalent impurity in the pure semiconductor material. That pentavalent impurity is called donor impurity. So the energy band diagram of N-type semiconductor material, here we see a donor energy level is also exist near the conduction band. And we know that in N-type semiconductor material, conduction is mainly due to the majority carrier electron. Because in N-type semiconductor material, majority carrier is electron. It means it having large number of electron and, and conduction is mainly due to the electron. So we can say that in case of N-type semiconductor material, the probability of electron in conduction band is larger than the probability hole in valence band. Due to this relation, we can say that the Fermi level lie near the conduction band. And the logic I will explain here. As I have already told, N-type semiconductor consists donor energy level. Because as I have already told, N-type semiconductor is made with donor impurity. So here a donor energy level is exist and this donor energy level consists of large number of electrons. When we give external energy from the external supply, this external energy is absorbed by the donor energy level electron and the valence band electron and these electrons jump into the conduction band. Due to this jumping of electron in conduction band, conduction band having large number of electron as compared to the valence band. Due to this, the Fermi level, the Fermi energy level is near the conduction band. Because we know that the definition of Fermi level, Fermi level is the highest energy level which has 50% probability of occupation by an electron at 0 degree temperature. Now P-type semiconductor material. To form P-type semiconductor material, we add a trivalent impurity or acceptor impurity in pure semiconductor material. So, in case of P-type semiconductor material, the conduction is happened mainly due to the holes because in P-type semiconductor, holes are the majority carrier. So, we can say that in P-type semiconductor, the probability of holes in valence band is greater than the probability of electron in conduction band. Due to this, the Fermi level is exist near the valence band. Now the logic I will explain here. As I have already told in 
to make p type semiconductor material here we add acceptor impurity so in energy band diagram of p type semiconductor material acceptor energy level is exist near the valence band this acceptor energy level is ready to accept large number of electrons or we know that valence band is full of valence electron when we give external energy from external supply pole to the semiconductor material these valence electron absorb this energy and jump into the next higher level of energy that is the acceptor energy level so due to this valence band is filled with large number of holes and acceptor energy level having large number of electron as compared to valence band due to this we can say that in p type semiconductor material probability of holes in valence band is greater than the probability of electron in conduction band and the fermi level is lie near the valence band or near the acceptor energy level so this is the basic fundamental of fermi level in p type semiconductor material now we discuss fermi energy what do you mean by fermi energy fermi energy is the maximum energy that is possessed by free electron at absolute 0 degree kelvin this is called fermi energy so these are the basic concept of Fermi level and Fermi energy. Hope you like the video. For more interesting video, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. For notes, please visit my website. The link of the website I will give in my description box, which is www.quick-learn.in, where I upload all the notes of my YouTube videos. and you also get uh, mcq question multiple choice question of different subject and those students who will prepare for competitive exams will go in my website and to check their skill perform mock test of previous year question papers so stay continue keep watching and keep sharing my videos bye bye